Hello students, in our previous video I have told you that computer is made up of two parts that is hardware and software and today I will tell you about different types of software. As I have told you earlier that software is categorized in four types. First one is operating system, second one is application system, third is utility system and fourth one is language processor and I have also told you about operating system. Let's have a recap of operating system. Operating system allows the computer to do all the jobs that you want it to do. Without it, the computer will not be able to understand the programs and instructions given by the user for their specific need. Now today we will learn about application software. This software is generally developed by the computer user to fulfill their own needs. For example, the bank use their own application software built by their own programmers to fulfill their needs of the bank. Similarly, the Indian Railways uses its own application software. Application software is a program or group of programs designed for end users. Now, few application software are MS Word, WordPad, Notepad. Second one is Internet Browsers and Browsers Example of browsers are Firefox, Safari and Chrome. Third is Microsoft PowerPoint, Keynotes. Fourth one is AutoCAD. Fifth Oracle, MSSS. Next one is Microsoft Excel. Then Media Player. These are example of application software. Application software consists of programs designed to make user more productive and assist them with personal tasks. Now uses of application software in studies. Why this software is used for educational purpose? Application software offers practical uses for students such as word processing, database management and school schedule maintenance, games and simulations motivate and interest students who are learning new information or reviewing previously taught lesson. Various uses of application software are word processing software, spreadsheet software, desktop publication software, communication software, presentation software, internet browser, email programs. These are the uses of application software. Application software is specific to do task. It is designed for and can be as simple as a calculator application or as complex as a word processing applications. When you begin creating a document, the word processing software has already set the margins, font style and size and line spacing for you. Okay. When you create a document, you will find that the, uh, the font size, line spacing are already set by the word processing software. But you can change these settings and you have many more formatting options available. For example, the word processor application make it easy to add color headings and pictures or delete, copy, move and change the appearance of the documents. Microsoft Word is a popular word processing software that is included the software suite of 
application called Microsoft Office. A web browser or simply browser is an application specially designed to locate, retrieve and display content found on the internet. <clears throat> Suppose if you click on a hyperlink or type a hyperlink or you can uh, suppose if you click a hyperlink or you type a URL of a website the user is able to view the websites consisting of one or more web pages now features of application software it perform more specialized tasks like word processing spreadsheets email photo editing etc it also need more storage space as it is bigger in size it is easy to design and more interactive for the user it is generally lit written in high level language what are the functions of application software the function of application software is to perform specific operations for various applications these functions include writing reports editing spreadsheet manipulating images keeping records developing website and calculating expenses these are the use or function of the application software some advantage of application software are number one the main purpose of application software is maintain and control the business second one is it also improves efficiency by eliminating human error third one is it consumes less time to perform various tasks fourth it increase profit fifth it reduce human resources sixth it measures business productivity there are in spite of these advantage some disadvantages are also there as application software program is used usually by human beings and then after that it is shared online in corporates a totally real hazard of infection by a pc virus or other malicious program may occur so these are the some disadvantage and advantage of application software after this in tomorrow's video we will learn about utility software okay